All right, welcome back to part six. Yeah, we're on part six. I think. If not, I'll fix it when I upload it. Anyway, we just defeated the giant worms right here. We went back to save, and now we're gonna go find Eve. So this should be fun. I think we're almost out of this level. And uh, if I remember right, her fight's kind of weird. Speak of the devil. No, I have to move up. My bad. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> I was trying to do an evil witch laugh. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Fuck you. Oh, my God. You can really leave. Wow. You know, usually when you play games, you're like, I can do this. I'll take you on. I ain't running away. And then if you say no in, like, Paper Mario, you, like, get a game over, which was a bullshit move. So I'm just going to... Talk to what the f oh <laughs> wow Aya wow this is interesting I remember this fight pretty well but that scene okay you're so pretty pretty fucking ugly. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I am a human. Why are you going with them and not me? What? Oh, yeah, this, this is why I like this fight, because look how much room you got to move around. Yeah, you got barely any room to dodge. This is the fight I remember, not the worms, but I like how we had to have to fight the worms too, but... <laughs> this is so freaking crazy! I love it! This is this is what I like about classic RPGs, to do crazy shit like this. Oh god. Saw that coming. Didn't do too much. Freaking critical! My thumb hurts a little bit. Oh, I love that. My thumb hurts a little bit because... <laughs> I was smashing like crazy with my friend. He came over and, uh, oh, we smashed a lot online. We did a lot of, I uploaded some videos, but, you know, I'm not like an OG Smash Bros. Maybe in my town, but <laughs> compared to the rest of the world, no, no, I suck. But around here, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. For people I fight against around here. I want to, like, upload all the videos and do, like, a highlight reel. Oh, wow, you're already dead. A highlight reel and just. I don't know, it's something for me, a hobby, I guess, to do. It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know your metrochondria will, it will know. That's a fact. That's why you're drawn to the opera. I'm probably pronouncing that word so freaking wrong, but whatever, I'm not an English buff. What are you talking about? It sounds right in my head anyway. Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! <laughs> Grope an eye. If we join forces, all the other metrochondria in the world will. Stop! Oh man. That's wrong, Eve. Stop. That poor horse. Damn. Go on. Flashback. I'm just bobbing my head. I don't even know why. I don't really know what to say. But yeah, I, I like it when they have fun set pieces in RPGs, and then newer RPGs don't really do that anymore. Aya! Aya! Answer me! Daddy! Ben, weren't you going to the concert? Oh, he was there for a concert, of course. He went to a concert all by himself in the dark. Oh, yes. Because it's New York City. And it's dark. Oh, he, he was with his mom. Was with his mom. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. So that's why there was an audience there. See, everything, everything makes sense. I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself. Dad, she left, and everyone else went too. Wow. I think she just died. That's sad. Lorraine, no! Casualties were... Blah, blah, blah. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy anymore. We have to... We have, <laughs> it is blending in with that freaking paper on my computer screen, and I just... You guys can see it on YouTube. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Should we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Aya? I think the army would be a good idea. Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost Lorraine. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Oh, is Aya and Daniel gonna fall in love? No. No. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight that thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I like how weird it's like, you know, how words, text gives people personality. And I is like, I don't know. <laughs> like I, and then D-U-N-N, -N, you know, like part one, she's she's just so laid back and casual. Like, they, they gave everyone personalities with the text boxes. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. Shiva, really? This is Shiva. A Final Fantasy reference, but spelt differently. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Whoa! Hey, that that cop almost died. It'd be cool if uh, Aya fought out like. Never mind, I was gonna say Luguna, but he came after her, so never mind. Cause they both use guns, you see. No, we need him for a reason. See, Parasite Eve ain't all about sex appeal like third birthday. They got, they, it's got a good story. You won't even find a cat on this street. I told you of. I told you I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Er, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? No, no I'm Japanese. Nada nihonji desuka. I purchased that all the hell. Oh yes, can you speak Japanese? Dakini deru desuka. I am Kuriku Mede Madi. Fuck! I am butchering this all the hell. And no, I wasn't trying to sound racist. When I was just trying to give him a funny accent, not like a. You know. I love Japanese people. I love every people. I am not racist. Arr! But no, that is weird though. He's Japanese. He's a Japanese man. Trying to speak English. Well, this is a Japanese game where the text is Japanese. So I'm really curious how that translated in Japan. Like, he's trying to talk to an American cop but the text is Japanese like how does that even work
I don't know, maybe Japanese has got, like, text for, like, speaking English. And then, but then that cop is trying to speak Japanese and English. I, I don't know, but that's pretty cool, though. Hospital? No, it looks like hell now because it turned red. Sorry, my stomach growled. I have not ate anything all day. I went for a run outside and then it started pouring. But I made it home okay. Should have ate though. Oh, you're finally. 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 <laughs> that totally didn't sound stupid. Who are you? I'm Kunini Huko Medi. Med. Meda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Daniel. Daniel san, how you doing? Wax on, wax off. There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy, it asked me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. No, they turned into a blob. Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, although it wasn't as grandiose. Grandiose? In scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to cu culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. So the scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her metrochondria eventually took over her physical body. Gasp! After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to the ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? Well, ultimate, right? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So after the accident, her kidney were transplanted to a young girl, and Eve implanted a fertilized egg into it, and the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely, inter extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell's going on here? I wish I could explain more. Aya, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside me felt like it was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I, I, I don't understand. I... I think I may be a monster like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if? What if I end up killing you? Ah, oh, shut up! You know that's not. Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. What am I fighting for? Please go away. Just, just stay away from me. Aya. Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, she's... So he walks, doesn't even answer him. Even if I'm a monster... 
I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. If I become a maverick, you'll have to take care of me. I'm doing so many weird references. I could never forgive myself if I killed you. I, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Brea. I'll be your, be by your side always, Aya. <laughs> my stomach growled again. Awkward. I still can't move. When I touched you, oh. That feeling, oh god. Was it Maya? Is it Maya or Maya? Because, I'm gonna say Maya. But Maya died in that car crash with mom. No, it just couldn't be. Uh oh. Getting some plot, getting some interesting stuff going on. So many questions. But we'll find out in day three. Selection. Thank you guys for watching.